Homies, happy birthday to Volca. If you don't know who Volca is, we are reviewing their account today. It is a very special account review. This account is exactly one year old to the day, July 14th, and they are completely free to play. What does a one year old completely free to play account look like exactly? We're gonna see. Volca is a skilled gamer, but everyone can always improve, get a little bit of advice. And I think this is gonna be a very fun one. Shout outs to Volca and homies. Let's get started. Oh, I thought not. Oh, there she is. <laughs> All right, homies, with that, we are logged in to Volca's account. As always, I love to ask the person whose account we are reviewing to give us a little intro into their account. Volca says, my account is exactly one year old today. Happy birthday, my friend. Joined during 2.8, so my account is centered more around dendro reactions, so very different from day one players. That's honestly true. If you guys watched the video where I ranked my builds, I pretty much use pyro characters all the time, because I don't know, I guess I like them. Also interesting to show newer players that you can 36 with more unconventional teams. I like where his head's at. I know I need to work a bit more on my artifacts. Would love to know who you would advise me to level and build next. Volca, you've got it, buddy. Let's take a look at your character. Bro, okay, let's knock out these news, huh? We got Tainari, brand new, level 81, straight out of the box. Yao Yao, brand new, level 66. Homie doesn't check his archive. All right, memes aside, we got all Hytham. Shincho Kuki, great. Kazuha's on this count. Sino and Nehida, there's the legend. Heizo, we got Beidou, Kokomi, Fischl, Toma. Homie, you have a ton of great characters. Are there any neglected five stars? Zero neglect. Well, okay, never mind. Take it back. What's good, Chi Chi? Real quick, going over what you said, dude, I totally agree. You've got a lot of strong dendro teams. That is for sure. I mean, with the power of Nahida and all hype them, you're pretty much good to go on every dendro team. But then you've even got Tainari and some of the best supports like Kuki, even Beto and Fischl go pretty hard. Toma for Virgin. So. Nice, strong Dendro account you got going. Let's take a look at some of his strongest characters. We've got all Hytham. Rocking the Iron Sting, not a bad free-to-play option at all. Four-piece Gilded, love it. Constellation Zero, 10, 10, 8. Very high talents, dude. Dendro Traveler, Fab Sword, R1. Would love to get some refinements on that. I do see a four-star Goblet. That's a bit unfortunate, but whatever you got to do to get deep with to keep it, huh? Pretty decent talent levels, my dude. Love that. Ching Cho, Sack Sword, Emblem. C6, big talents. This guy's ready. This is his team that he was showing, okay? So I love what I'm seeing, but it's like in front of the store, they show all the best things in front of the window, okay? But it's really as you get deeper and deeper into that store, what is the quality of everything else? So I will not be fooled yet, but I do, I do like what I see so far. Show weapon pose, there you go. C6, flop, let's go. Another iron sting, okay. Kazuha. Freedom Sworn. Oh, I think I I think we got this for you once on a pull stream, actually. Viridus and Venerer. C1 Kazuha. That's crazy. Ooh, C1 Freedom Sworn Kazu. He's a strong boy, especially with those talents. So now we are getting into the next layer of characters. Let's put it that way. We got Fab Sword, Viridescent. I love that I see two full Viridescent sets. Some players can't do that. Team talent levels are all right. Jade Wing Spear, love that. Glad, Con Zero, 3, 10, 10, very high. Let's take a look at Volca's full weapon catalog really quick here. For a free to play character, it's <laughs> a character. For a free to play player, you have a actually pretty good amount of five star weapons. Primordial Jade Wing Spear, Beacon, Freedom Sworn, Skyward Blade, and Skyward Pride. I hate to imagine how many of these were lost 50-50s on the weapon banner and how many of these are from standard because, you know, Pride and Blade, they're okay on certain characters, but they're not like super top tier. You got one from losing the 50-50 rest on standard. All right, that sounds about right. These are solid weapons, man. I love to see that. Oh my God, stupid Ibis Piercer. Do you know how many comments I got on my weapon tier list that just happened to not have this single weapon in it? Glad you have that, man. Glad you have that. Alley Hunter on Kudasar is cool. Stringless, Fav. We got the classics. R5 Widsith, R5 Catch. Katan Cross Spear. Dude, you are getting the right weapons as a free to play player. Toma, Godlike Virgin. Katan Cross Spear is like his best weapon. You've got the catch farmed up. I love to see it, dude. I love to see it. You have an R3 Fab Great Sword and an R4 Fab Great Sword. <laughs> 
Okay. Honestly, man, yeah, you've got a nice, good collection of weapons. I think your account is very well maintained as of right now. Original fish ointment. Refinement materials for end of the line. Bro, what are you doing? Come on, man. So look, I see who your main DPS characters are. I'll hide them. Sino. And I know Volca as a community member. He is a huge Hazo fan. I do want to see these full builds in action. Boom. 52, 128. I like the EM. I even like the crit damage. Unfortunately, the crit rate is a little on the lower side. I know we are rocking this, which is a really good piece, actually. This piece is a little, just a little bit, little bit copium. And then this one, EM Sands is almost always better on Hytham, unless you were running like a terrible EM Sands versus like a super cracked, like 40 crit value attack sand. So let's throw EM on there eventually, if you can. And then low crit rate. And then, wow, this artifact is busting. So definitely the, the feather, the sands, even the goblet, these can be improved. Hope you can improve them in the future, my friend, because unfortunately only critting 53% of the time, not really this last. Xing Cho, the free to play hero. I expect great things from him. 69, nice. And 111 crit damage. Crit damage is a little bit low, but I like the ER. I like everything else. Let's peek under the hood a little bit here. Whoa, mother. Bro, I'm flabbergasted. What is the crit value? 46.6, that's crazy. I'm gonna be honest, after seeing that and then looking at this, I feel like the rest of your artifacts are gonna be kind of dog water. That one's pretty darn good. Well, found it. <laughs> this is an okay piece. Unfortunately, Xing Chao doesn't really benefit from elemental mastery. You might think he does, but he's the one that applies it and then a character reacts off his Hydro. Like in most teams, the Vape teams, the Hu Tao teams, like Hu Tao Shangling teams, Eon doesn't really help him that much. So yeah, Sans is the issue here. Good hydro damage goblet. Okay, this one's also a little on the weaker side. It's very easy for me to just say, go get better ones, but it's good to know where to improve. It's the Sans and it's the circlet for Xing Cho. Everything else is really lit. Flop, I'm just gonna EM, EM, EM. That's all I need to see. Crit rate, crit stats. Honestly, it looks like you got it. Yeah, dude, almost a thousand EM. Beautiful on Kuki. I don't harp too hard on characters like this, guys, as long as you're running. Oh, wow, we've got kind of a mixed DPS Kazuha, which I respect the hustle and Grussel. I would need to see some really high damage stats here. I'm gonna be completely honest. If your crit rate is this low, it's probably not worth going a hybrid build. You're worse than a full damage build and worse than a full EM support build. It's cool. The thing is, Kazuha is broken kind of no matter what. But I do feel like Triple EM might highlight his skills a little bit more. Do you have another EM? You do, it's on Gene. And it has good crit, so if you ever wanted to run fast. Well, I'm glad that you have the option to do that. I respect you uh, showing us. I'm not completely sure how fantastic it is. Let's check out Sweet Baby Jean. She's rocking the fav. She's on Viridescent. And then we saw EM Animo Energy Recharge. That's pretty good. I just feel like if you are going EM, it'd be better to just be ER EM EM for the full like swirl damage. That's just me though. Let's check out Sino. This guy had some banging talent levels. He's rocking Primordial Jade Wing Spear. 69, 194. Not bad, 266 EM. I like to see that. So let's dive in a little bit deeper. EM Sands, let's level this to 20. Electro Damage Goblet. Wow, this piece is actually fire with attack and EM. Crit damage with crit rate, not bad at all. That piece is solid. This piece is solid too. They're all solid, they're not like crazy cracked. This one's a little on the weaker side, but stuff happens. So honestly, Sino's looking pretty darn decent. Looks like farming gilded, especially because you did say that you are a dendro comp lover. Gilded on Sino is lit. Gilded on all Hytham is lit, as you know. And then you could even run Deepwood. You would buff everybody by farming that domain. Here we are in Nikita. She's got the deep wood. She is rocking. Sack frags. Sack frags is all right on Nikita. Obviously the EM is cool, but she doesn't need the effect that much. EM with some crit. Love that. Dendro damage bonus with some EM. Like that. Pretty solid. Pretty solid again. I like the EM on there. And then, wow, that's a fire flower. No wasted stats on there at all. Well, let's check out what she's looking like here. 31, 12.9. She does get a little bit of crit through one of her passives. So the crit could come up, but honestly, for a build like this, where you are trying to stack a lot of EM, these are actually quite solid stats. High crit damage, 
decent ish crit rate with 800 em is kind of hard respect the nahita it's time for the crown jewel of volka's account this is his favorite character i'm expecting triple crowns i'm going down i'm checking right now triple crowns so cool to see i love triple crowns man they make me hype every single time c6 viridescent venerer and the weapon is of course the hometown hero r5 wins it yes boys it's all coming out now boom what huh <laughs> 41 crit damage that's insane bro my lord i've never seen 40. i've never i've seen it on like videos i've seen it on like other youtubers highlights i've never seen a 40 in person i don't think holy crap crit rate crit damage some em i like this i'm getting worried about the crit rate yet again because we've got wit sith and then two i want to see some banging crit right here attack sands unfortunately no crit rate god who are you what the hell dude this is the most insane animal goblin i've ever seen i'm just gonna say it bro it's the truth you're free to play i'm not and i farm artifacts every single day i don't have a single 45 crit value or higher and i think i've seen like three so far on your account you're not free to play if you sell your soul to holy i'm sorry man i don't know what's going on in this account but i better see crit rate <laughs> okay his hazo is kind of crazy if this sand had like 12 crit rate or something that would be insane let's see everything put together 52 243 this is obviously insanely high crit damage but completely honestly you gotta, gotta, gotta balance it out with crit rate. He gets crit from C6. It's 4, 8, 12, 16. It's 16 more crit. But here's the thing. You have to get all those stacked up. So all the normals and charge attacks that you're hitting have a lower chance of crit. Eventually, you'll get up there. And then you've got the 68% chance, it looks like, about for that big punching hit. For a free-to-play hero who loves Hazo, this is super, super good. I do not want to downplay that at all. But I'm always looking to point out, you know, the thing you can improve. There's nothing you need to improve on Hazo except the crit rate, the crit damage, the build, the, the talents. Everything is, is insane. So, dude, like, your Hazo is so fire. I just want you to crit more. And I want you to keep destroying the whole world with your Hazo. You guys know I love Fischl too. R5 Stringless, two-piece, two-piece. C2, 595. This is a totally usable Fischl for, you know, your everyday gaming. Good artifact. Good artifact. Good artifact. Not too bad. Ooh, and a pretty good artifact. Not bad, man. Fischl's pretty good. Finally, I'll just do a quick check of Tome. I mean, he's got the Katane Spear, and you're on EM, EM, EM. That's it. Dude, you have so many good pieces. You've been building the right characters and, like, building the right team. So, dude, I'm very, very impressed. All right, taking a look at all the pieces here. You can see where all of your farming has gone. You like Viridescent, you like Emblem, and you like Gilded. Those are amazing domains so i can't really harp you on that but i will recommend which domain i think you need the most right now let's take a look at the emblem pieces why are these all locked oh 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 bro 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 what is happening lads i was just going through volka's artifacts going in my fine tooth comb on the emblem the guild and stuff our dude here has so many look at these locked zero double crit one crit one crit double crit one crit he is sitting on a gold mine i know it takes a lot of time it's a little bit tedious and it does cost a lot of mora but getting these artifacts to four and especially the ones with like just straight up double crit like this roll these babies to 20 see if we can get some crit rolls like he has this for emblem he has this for uh gilded and then he might even have it for weird s inventor i'll go check in a second but this is huge don't let these pieces like sit here and collect dust if you forget about them you might not be able to have the resources, right, to get them up. So start saving a little bit more, start farming other domains and using the bad ones as EXP for these. You might get some huge upgrades right here, right now. So, hey, this is important. Level these bad boys up. I want to see the Viridescent Venerer because like I said, the things that could... <sighs> that thing. Okay, let's see if there's a secret attack sands in here that might be an upgrade okay there's two in here that could potentially pass this and to be honest there's like even more than that like if this one hits if any of these just hit 
crit rate three, four times, it's gonna be better for your Hazo than this one. So, hey, this is your boy, and I'm happy to know he could get an upgrade. It's wild. I've never seen an account like this with like so much potential literally laying on the account when you've already got a good account. There's just like, the upgrades can be right around the corner, man. That's wild. Ladies and gentlemen, especially for a free to play account that's doing this well, I wanna see the abyss. Look at all these 36 stars, dude. These are great stars, especially for how long ago some of these were. Let's say it took you about six months to start getting 36 stars and maybe you could have even got it like back here, right? Like you were really close. This is like a very inspiring free to play account. I mean, I think you're doing like everything right. Let's go. Maybe you had a good teacher. Hmm? Alrighty lads, I was going through the teams for Volca because he wants to know what characters should he level up next for like more potential teams. Check this out. We've got Hazo National. You can get really creative with Hazo National. So this is just one, his comfort one. We've got Alhytham rocking Hyper Bloom. This could also be spread with the characters he's got. Sino Aggravate can also be Hyper Bloom. That's the cool thing about these Dendro DPSs and Electro DPSs. You can really change it up, mix it up, what comp you're gonna run. I got a Burgeon comp in here. We've got normal Shongling National. This can be any animo he's got on the account. Pretty much what I'm getting at here, he has pretty much every character he needs to clear the abyss right now, genuinely leveled up. You've got multiple healers, multiple DPSs, multiple different elements leveled up. You are doing, seriously, a fantastic job. I'm looking at these low leveled characters, Unfortunately, they're at pretty low constellations, except that C6 Dory. <laughs> I see it. They might not actually be worth leveling up for you, speaking competitively, of course. If you like them, level them up. The only one I can see is Lisa. If you're able to get her C4, it is a really huge upgrade to her, and she works fantastically on Dendro teams specifically. I think if you could get her to C4 by buying her from the shop, okay, we don't have to go RNG. Lisa would actually be pretty cool to level up. You don't have that many cryo characters leveled up. It actually looks like just Gaia, so maybe you need to get through some shields. Diona could could help and then yao yao you do have a lot of dendro characters maybe you need the heal yao yao could help and then finally kale once again you've got a lot of dendro but kale just gets it done right maybe you've got all hytham and nikita on one team and then on the other side you need burgeon and like tainari's just not really cutting it on burgeon and especially dendro traveler would not cut it on burgeon as well that's just a little bit of my advice but honestly dude you're doing super, super good. Guys, who should we beat the crap out of with this Hazo for the flex? Keep in mind, this isn't the optimal, like, clickbait biggest number possible team comp. This is just, like, what an actual team comp would look like taking Hazo for a spin in the abyss. All right, here's our victim. Let's see what this Hazo can do, baby. 115. I think I still have the Bennett burst. You got to pay for that achievement I just got you there. Take three. Burst. 80k. 150k, dude. Let's go. Oh my god, he's the goat. Ooh, dude, he's so cool. He's so clean. Oh my god. All right, I'm a fan. Do you want a wager? What's your wager there, Volca? I've got artifact fodder saved up. If you roll a 35 CV, I'll gift one sub. And if you roll a 40 plus, I'll gift five. All right, baby. You got yourself a deal. I will use uh, my natural born insane artifact luck. By the way, never, never gotten a 45 crit value artifact in my entire life. I, you know, I think we can do this. Dude, screw you, man. Get off, bro. <sighs> Please. Homies, let's wrap this up. I'm being completely honest when I'm talking about Volca's account. Kudos to you, honestly, for how well you've maintained your account. You know, you're in the stream every day, Volca. I might take a little bit of credit for, you know, maybe being a good teacher, but I'll let you have this one. Congrats, man. Your account is fire. I did give a little bit of advice on characters, and of course you can farm more artifacts, but dude, you are a good example of things to do properly, my friend. Happy birthday on your one year against an account. Much love, my dude. With that, lads, we are wrapping up this very fun account review. Shout outs to everybody once again, hanging out in the stream. Guys, I am streaming all the time over on twitch.tv slash XTV. The homies love it. They are not being held captive and they are not bots, I promise. So come say hi. Maybe drop that Twitch Prime, baby, we love that. And then big shout outs to the patrons, Zik, Caldo, Cloudy, 
gophers i appreciate all of you guys over on patreon you guys rock thank you guys for supporting the content and lads until next time as usual thank you guys for watching the videos see you later homies